What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf cave. Welcome back to another unboxing, guys. Wow, we're about to jump into a different reality, a different world. I'm talking about VR world, guys. The Oculus Quest 2 is in the Raf cave. Finally, VR is here. I've been putting off. Putting it off a long time, you know, because I know VR in the beginning was either your cell phone or you needed a super high-end computer to run it. And the resolution wasn't that good. The refresh rate wasn't that good. I know PlayStation VR was out, but I still looked like a cartoony Nintendo game to me, so I didn't, I didn't get into it. But now, you know, with Oculus Quest, the price has come down to $299 for the 64 gig version. And technology has really improved. And uh, I saw some of them games out there looking in pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Colorful, vibrant, lively, amazing. I tried this. My son has one. I tried his. Let me tell you guys, I'm all about next-gen graphics. You know I love PS5. I love Series X. I love the, the crispness of the graphics. I even go down to 30 frames a second just to get that crispness. All that's out the window when you go into VR. When you're in VR, it's all about the experience. It's about the atmosphere. It's about... Just stepping out of your world into a new world that is beyond graphics it's just crazy anyway guys this will be a short video I just want to unbox this for you show you what's inside and then I'll be getting some accessories to enhance the oculus experience and make it better for uh, wearing and using for a long time and uh, we'll see maybe I'll start streaming VR games let's see how that works all right guys well without further ado if you guys are excited about me getting VR, smash a like and comment below. Tell me if you have one, if you're excited, what you guys play, what you recommend, and uh, get me involved in this VR madness, because I'm ready. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Black pin. All right, guys, so we got this nice, well, let's show you the box, of course. Boom. Boom. Oculus Quest VR, holy cow! Quest Two from Facebook. It's all, I, I I ain't worried about the Facebook stuff. I'm, I'm I'm not all about that stuff. I'm okay with that. There's a picture of the back of the box. A lot of great stuff. There's a ton of accessories you can get for this. I'm looking at the uh, the uh, the Elite Strap, of course. Got to have better comfort in the back of your head. I'm looking at the uh, extra battery strap in the back to counterbalance the weight when this is on your head. I'm looking at sound options. Uh, I'm looking at some decals to put in front so it looks pretty cool when I'm wearing it. What am I looking at? I'm looking at uh, grips for your controllers. And uh, what else are you going to look at? I'm looking at uh, some visor, some uh, face shield visor to make it more comfortable when it's on your face. And also, if you guys have some glasses on, there are prescription lenses. You can have custom design, custom made for your eyes. Put it in the Oculus. You don't need glasses anymore. You just put it on your head and face, and it's like perfect vision with VR. How cool is that? All right, guys. So the box is unboxed here. What we, what we got here? So, all right. You ready, guys? Here you go. Uh... The VR experience in the Raft Cave is about to begin. There are your two controllers, VR itself, and some cables. <laughs> these are pretty cool. These are these, these are pretty cool. Wow. So they have you know the buttons in front. You got the A and B buttons, or X and Y. You got the reset button, and you have the the analog stick there pretty damn cool these take one double-a battery you got the wrist straps here and uh, yeah man these are these are your hands in VR world but yeah these feel really good in your hand guys it just feels like it's your hands you can do like finger gestures you can close your hands you can do open hand stuff move it around it's very responsive too I mean I played it in the dark it finds the hands fine playing in daylight it's just it's just awesome guys so I definitely want to get a grip for it, a little bit more rubber grip, and then have the strap around your hands so you can let go of the hand, or let go of these uh, sticks, and you can still move your hands around. Really awesome stuff, guys. 
All right, so we have this here. It's probably gonna be some uh, charging cables, some paper documentations here, and then this is gonna be your, your AC pack and uh, cable. And uh, yeah, that's good, all, all good and well there. Now, if you do have glasses, and you, you don't want to get into the uh, prescription lenses that you put inside the Oculus. There is a spacer here that you put in front of... Uh, you put inside the face shield, so it pushes the face shield out more so you have a more gap between your glasses and the lens. You don't want to scratch the lens with your glasses, so you put this on beforehand. And this is just a reminder to move the lenses out or in. Uh, to match up your eye. If it's a little out of focus, you can move the lenses out to match right in front of your eyeball. And uh, yeah, there we go, guys. It's uh, There's the two lenses inside. Got a little plastic covering on there right now, but you pull those off and you're ready. And then this is a generic blah strap. This is definitely not what, what you want to use. I uh, highly recommend getting a better strap right away. First thing you do, and take this thing off. This, this is my my opinion um in order to get the price down they cut corners and this is one of the big corners they cut right here um as far as sound goes it has integrated sound which is great i actually used them and it's not bad at all but you can definitely plug in your headphones um yeah we can pull this off i guess but, but anyway there's a on the bottom is your volume plus and minus volume on the side is going to be your power button Push it once, it goes into standby, push it again, wakes it up, or hold it down to power it off. And then you have your four sensors in front. Uh, and also cameras, so you can actually see uh, what's in front of you without actually taking it off. Awesome. This is just so cool, guys. And uh, definitely recommend replacing this uh, face shield. This will press against your skin, and you get a little mark after a while. Other than that, guys, here it is. It's in here. It's in the raft cave. VR is in the raft cave. I don't know if I'm going to play right here or I'm at the play out in the living room. But uh, what's really cool is you make a guardian, a boundary. So before you even start, you draw a circle around you that is not going to get uh, in the way of anything around you. So that way inside VR, it's like, a, it's like a little funnel wall around you. So if you go through it, it makes a little red circle. Like, don't don't go that far, right? So that's pretty sick. I like that feature. So you can move your hands around. As long as you're in, within that guardian, you shouldn't uh, hit anything around you. So I think it might work out. If I stand up and right in the middle, I won't hit anything in my raft cave. So I gotta be careful. Anyway, guys, that's just the unboxing of the Oculus Quest 2. Super happy, super excited to get involved with VR in the raft cave and all the glorious games out there that... Uh, you won't see on consoles. Yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, you have a great day. Like, subscribe, share. And uh, I'm excited, guys. VR is here. It's pretty sweet. All right, guys, have a good one. Take it easy. Home theater rules. VR is going to rule. Raph came out. See ya.